No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Living without sin. Yeah. So we believe that Jesus Christ was born with all three: the Holy Trinity, which is above, it's, it's higher than us all, right? His, uh, his human flesh, okay, and the Son of God. Okay. So we believe in, in this three things. The Holy Trinity. Trinity. Is it in the Bible? Yes. Where? Okay. Where I, don't, I don't have it memorized. Look it up. Uh, I don't have them prepared. Okay, come back next Sunday. Come back on Sunday. Okay. On Sunday, every on Sunday, Sunday he's here, okay. and then we'll come That's to Sunday. Thank you. Uh, Hello. Look, I wish you the best. Enjoy your day. Look it up, but just with a sincere heart. SubhanAllah. Anyway. Interesting. Okay, we'll give another question. Tayyip, uh, Is Allah, is the universe, so, sure. Because because in Arabic, when I learn, mm -hmm. Allah <laughs> Khaliq al -Kawm. Sahih. So, but have you ever heard of Riza Aslan? Uh, a professor yes. comes to the university and he said he's a Muslim, and Allah to him is the universe. Tayyip. So he was like, Tayyip. Yeah. Riza Aslan is not a sheikh, he's not a alim, he never studied Sharia, so th this is not his place to speak. Right, right. Tayyip. When we talk about who is Allah, like you saw the, them, they made up their own idea. He was born and he became three, which is not in the, in the Bible and it's not in the Quran, right? So you cannot make up your own concept because Allah is above our imagination, right? Let, let me explain this. Imagine a child in the womb of a mother. Like that child doesn't know streets, he doesn't know buildings, he doesn't know cars. All he knows is his little world. He doesn't eat with his teeth, the little tube feeds him. Right? If you go to that child and try to explain to him that someday you're going to come out and there'll be a billion other people and you're going to be walking and you're going to be riding a horse and you're going to be flying in a plane, that child will not understand what you're saying. Right? If that child tries to imagine, he will not be able to. Right? So that's just a child in the womb, but imagine us in this little world as one of nine or eight, depending on Pluto, planets in one little solar system, in one little galaxy, in, in this imaginable, unimaginable vast universe, right? So we cannot make up our own ideas about Allah. How do we know who is Allah, who is our creator from the revelation that he sent, okay. right? We believe in the revelation that was sent to Jesus. We believe in it, but we know for sure historically you can look up Dr. Bart Ehrman or other uh, people who have done historic research from a neutral perspective that have proven that has been changed. We also know historically the Quran has not been changed. So when we know that this is the revelation that has been preserved, what Allah tells us about Himself in the Quran is what we believe about Allah. Hmm? What Allah tells us in the Quran is He khalaqa samawati wal ard. He created the samawat and ard. Kun when he said be, it was. Not that Allah is the universe, but Allah created the universe. Good. I can, I, I, I can subscribe to that. Good. We're, we're on the same page. Although, God said, let there be. Of course. And there was. Exactly. Where was God to say, let there be? Excellent. Allah has always been there and will always be there. Right? Let me let me let me explain that, right? Let, let me let me because see, we're we're I know where you're going and I'm gonna go to the same place because I've been through this, right? For us as humans, as creation, as makhluk, we think of everything in makhluk terms, meaning that there was a time that me and you and him were not. And then we came to be. And in this worldly body, there will be a time that we will not be. There was a time there was nothing here, right? And then people made things and it had to come from something to be made, right? That is correct. But that is again looking at the creation, right? The creator has his own rules. The creator doesn't have a beginning, has no end, never dies, never gets tired, never gets sleepy, doesn't need anything to create. 
Like for us, we only reshape things. We don't really make anything. Like somebody like, I made this uh, statue. Well, you didn't really make the statue. You took rocks, you took wood, and you reshaped it, right? Let's say uh, I manufactured this car. Well, yeah, but you took those from nature. But Allah makes from nothing. And that is Allah. And, and let me just give you one example to kind of get you on the mindset. Have you ever seen a puppet show? Yeah, you seen a puppet show? The, the right? Yeah. Exactly. So when you look at the puppet show, there is a puppeteer. Okay? So when you look at the puppet and the puppeteer, then if you judge the puppeteer by the puppet, then you would be like, where are the puppet's strings? The puppeteers. Like you go back, you see the puppeteer, where are your strings? Well, the puppeteer doesn't have strings. He's the one pulling the strings, right? So the makhluk, us, we need something to create, but Allah doesn't. He just says, and it becomes from nothing. But we cannot say it's from Him that it became, because that's not what Allah told us. Allah told us He is Ta'ala. We say Allah Ta'ala, He's far above. He is the one that created His Arsh, His throne, His Kursi, the chair. And he created the Samawat, the skies, the Ard, the earth, all of the creation from nothing. You know, he doesn't need anything to be there for him to create. That's his rules. He doesn't ever have a beginning. That's his rules, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why we don't put him like a human or a monkey or a dog or a cow, because he's above that. He's the, look at this. Allah says in, in, in Surah Mulk, Zayyinu Sama'a Dunya bi Masabih. Yani Allah beautified the first sky, the sky of this world, the, the first sky with lamps. That means all the, the galaxies and universes and lamps and lights that you see at night, it's all the first sky. Those seven skies compared to the Arsh of Allah, in one of the Raya to the Kursi, and then that to the Arsh, right? It's like a small ring and a huge, now imagine that. Imagine how great Allah is. So that's so, the throne. Yusuf. And it sounds all in Exactly. All in so, so this is why this is why we say that when you want to know about Allah, like like what is Allah, who is Allah, right? The way to do it is to go to what He revealed about Himself. That's it, because it's past our understanding. We go to the message that's preserved, the Quran, that no doubt we can pr prove as it was revealed to a man named Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is preserved. Then, then everything about Allah, what are His names, what are His sifat, His asma wa sifat, tawhid al rububiyya, uluhiyya, asma, all of that, we go back to the Quran and what is authentically established from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and we build our belief on that. Now, fantastic. Anyways, I, can look at I can follow. Good, we're on the same page. I like it. I, 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 I can follow, but mine is a bumpy road. Hey, 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 everybody's a bumpy road. I feel you. Question. Go ahead. From all of what you've explained, I take it that Allah is all encompassing. Sure. I mean, like his knowledge, we get his to mercy, the sky and we still can't even break the ceiling there to understand. his arsh, his throne. I agree. Fantastic. Then, and my question goes back to this. Yes. Where is the finality of the word here? Excellent. Excellent. Yes. So Allah says in the Quran about the Prophet وسلم, that he is not the father of any, any people amongst you, but he is the last of all the prophets, right? So that tells you there was a series, right? Began with Adam, peace be upon him. The first man was also a prophet. He brought the right message. And then when the people started to deviate, the first messenger who brought a message, not just a prophet, was Nuh. Noah, right? And so on, Abraham and Moses, and you, you go on to Jesus, to Muhammad, peace be upon all of them, right? That chain went until the last prophet, right? When the last prophet came, the prophethood ended. And this became the final message till the day of judgment. Is the bumpy road getting a little smoother though? A little bit. All right. <laughs> we good, we good. I got time, bro. Trust me. Ain't no rush here. I'm the same. Well, I'm short of time. Hey, come back next Sunday. I'm, I'm here for you, bro. Yeah, I've got time for you. It's okay. I'll be back. Anyway, uh, still. 
If we accept this all in composite, can we accept the idea, prospect, that Allah? All encompassing, that means that Allah is physically in everything? In sure. Everything. So again, you know, sure, sure, I feel you. I, I feel I you. So let me is. let me explain it from the Quran, right? Why? Because as I said, Allah is above our comprehension, right? So how do we comprehend Allah? How do we know about Allah? It's through what He told us about Himself, right? So Allah tells us that He knows everything, right? So His knowledge is everywhere. He sees everything. Who is Samir? He hears everything. Samir Alim, like in the Quran, you will find that He is the all hearing, all seeing, all knowing. Right? Basir, not just to see, but sees everything. There is nothing hidden from Allah. Ma akhfa, yani whatever is hidden. Even your desires. Even no your desires. And, 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 this is a very interesting ayah in the Quran, in Surah Taha, right? That He knows the hidden and what is more hidden than that. This is your inner thoughts, your inner self, which you may not even know about yourself. Right? And we're on the same page. I'm making your road easier, but 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 I will I will make a distinction, right? Which I think we're on the same page. We just have to clarify. Allah encompasses everything with His knowledge, His sight, His mercy, but we don't say physically, Allah is in everything, right? Like people say, Allah is in this and then they could worship it. Great, great. This is where we disagree. Me and you agree. I immediately there we go. Because of this Excellent, excellent. So Allah is not My. physically in everything, but His knowledge, His sight, and His mercy encompasses everything. Another realm, and that would be the realm of spirituality. Excellent. It's untouchable, it's intangible. So, it, it, so what it, I'm saying is, we, we put it, we put it at how Allah put it. Right. right. Allah says that He sees everything. So we say that with His sight, His seeing, He's everywhere. Meaning that Allah sees everything. Allah says He hears everything. Even the whisper in the darkness, we say Allah hears it. Allah knows everything. Even our thoughts, are things in our body that we don't know, things around us that we don't know, Allah knows everything. Allah knows everything that has happened, that is happening, that will happen. Allah knows even that which wouldn't happen, that could have happened. Allah is alim in that sense. We all agree. But we just have to be careful that people don't start saying physically Allah is in things. Because then what happens is people start to make shirk. People start to worship other than Allah saying, well, if Allah is in the tree, why can't I worship a tree? Like we say that Quran forbids us from that. Fantastic. Thank Good. you for that one. Uh, may I say something? Yeah. Also, because uh, I get this point, we discuss this a lot. Good. And I think many people believe that uh, believe in that because they associate. They they think as in, as you said in a human terms. Yes. If he can hear, then he must be there. Yes. Or he must be there. Right. But Allah, He said He can hear everything. Everything. That doesn't mean He's in everything. La. Allah says, Ar Rahmanu ala al Arsh istawa. Right. Ar Rahman, the most merciful, is upon His Arsh. Yani. So this tells us that even. Even if Allah can be there and also make nuzul, as Rasulullah told Sahih Hadith, we believe that Allah can do everything. But Allah didn't tell us that He's physically in everything, so we don't say that about Allah. Allah told us that Allah is Ta'ala, He is above. Allah, so we say that Allah is not physically in things, but as you said, in His knowledge, in His mercy, in His seeing, in His uh, hearing, Allah encompasses everything in those sifat because that's what Allah told us in the Quran. Interesting. Question. Go ahead. How do we define knowledge? Do we grasp Excellent. it? Uh, uh, how do we impart just that knowledge? Sure. So, so when we talk that's about... a concept. Uh, Excellent. So, there is the knowledge of insan, of humans, and there is the knowledge that has to do with Allah. Allah tells the Quran, 
There's nothing like Allah. There is no example that you can give like Allah. And He is nothing comparable. Excellent. Nothing that can even compare to an example. There's a lot of balagha here. Maybe laysa. Let me just tell him a little bit of the Arabic, right? Laysa ka mithli. Laysa wa yakfi. Laysa mithli shay. Lakin al kafa tashbih. هذا يعني للتوكيد ليس حتى مثال لمثاله سبحانه وتعالى طيب sorry you gotta get the Arabic بلاغة sometimes you know the verse like I'm not I'm not ethnically Arab right like I'm not ethnically Arab right I wasn't raised speaking but I studied Arabic and especially Arabic grammar for the Quran and Hadith, right? And when you study Balagha, يعني, the, the eloquence of speech, and you read the Quran, Wallahi, it's a miracle in itself, right? Allah didn't just say there's nothing like him. He said, Laysa, there is nothing. Ka, which is another form of giving likeness. Mithri, so there is no example of example that can be example to Allah, right? But that's a little deep. In English, our, our, our language is, is constrained, right? But let me let me get back. You, you can get to it because you're a deep brother, but, but now, yeah. So now let's get back to the what you were saying, right? So knowledge that has to do with us increases and decreases, right? Like let's say you hadn't come here today you may not have learned some of the things that we just talked about so your knowledge increased right but maybe me after i go and you know drive crazy for a while lose some brain cells i'll forget some of what i had learned like there was a time when i learned a lot of mutun like you know the things you memorize eh? and i forgot a lot of them because i don't i don't i don't practice them you know so so my knowledge increases and decreases right allah his knowledge is perfect it never increases and never decreases, meaning there's nothing new to Allah. Anything we are doing or we will do, Allah already knows. And nothing is hidden from Allah's knowledge. It nev never increases, never decreases. Nothing surprises Allah. Nothing is like, oh, this happened? No, because Allah already knows everything. And Allah has written down everything. Allah, would you think that Allah is a bit bored? No, because Allah... Yeah. I sure. Mean, think about it though. Sure. There is nothing, Fair. nothing that surprises you. There is. Yeah, is, right. there, there is. That's true. Let me let me let me let me respond. Let, exactly. So we can be bored. So this is the thing with. I understand, but my point being. I feel you. I feel you. My point being this. Uh, me being a mere mortal human. Exactly. And I think that I've been exposed to uh, 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 a lot more than most. Right? right. And I'm thinking, wow, uh, all of this is, I don't know anything. I feel you. I imagine. You know, I, I feel no, you. I, I cannot. I know it's folly. It's, 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 it's I know exactly crazy. what you're saying. Let me, let me, let me. So, uh, these, so I'm not comparing in I don't know, but Allah, these but. feelings of frustration or boredom or uh, you know to uh, see you got it you got it what Allah exactly so let me let me give you the, the, the solution to that first thing I'm sure you already have one three three Go through this. We have in the Spanish. Right? Uh, <laughs> this is Espanol, yeah. Okay. So, in Espanol? Yeah. You speak Spanish? Oh, muy bien. Es, uh, es mi amigo uh, Abu Sufyan. Uh, Habla Espanol ahí then. And uh, where is Saul? Saul ahí then? Mexicano. Hermanos. Mexicano o Espanol? La Espanol. Mexicanos. Chicanos. La raza. <laughs> so, no, no idios sino Allah y Muhammad es su profeta. That's, that's my, that's all the Spanish I need. No, I'm just kidding, right? <laughs>